you know, our, we've had our fair share of it. So I will just settle there. We've gone beyond it now. Some pastors are so soft that they do not remove openly rebellious elements. How can you retain someone who has really something positive to say about your church? How can you keep him in the system when he has barely anything positive to say about your church or you? We should not allow any leader or member to pollute God's precious sheep, precious sheep whose destinies have been entrusted to us as pastors to feed. They must leave yesterday in my book. They must leave when? Yesterday. They must leave when? Absalom corrupted and destroyed many people's destinies by his rebellious acts. If he had been dismissed and not allowed to come back home in the first place, so don't listen to Joab. If Joab comes and says, let's bring Absalom back, don't listen to Joab. Watch that Joab himself. That Joab himself is just as crooked. Pastor Matthew said, there are some people whom, whose office I put far away from my office. That break was intentional. Far away. It was deliberate. It's not my voice. It was deliberate. Far away from my office. Because I can tell they are on their way out. So I make them easy for them to exit through the gate. You meet all kinds of people in church. I'm telling you, you need to get it. We, my wife and I, even my children, we carry a radar. We scan people. Our children, no children are very sensitive. They can pick things. They, they carry, they just watch people and they see this guy is suspect. And they turn out to be suspect. I told my wife to develop that gift. She has a gift of descending of spirits that she has not been using too often. But anytime she says, watch this person, it turns out that person tends to be diabolical. Suspects. Watch them. You keep your friends close and your enemies even closer so you can get rid of them quickly. Know their movement, what they are up to. <laughs> so this thing is not just clapping of hands. Church is not clapping just hands. You need to pray more. In the family, my, we went on holiday. My family were sleeping. They were snoring. I couldn't sleep. I went to sit in the hall, sat up. I didn't sit this way so that I would sleep. I sat up straight. I pushed backward and sat straight. They go low, they go grow low, they grow low. All I would hear is, so they say, I do go low, gala, gala. I'm praying into my ministry. As I know, I've got a job to do yesterday, today, tomorrow, and throughout the week. Yeah. You should pray more as a leader into your department for anything that is not happening in your department is your fault. You must invest in there. Invest in your department, invest in your ministry, invest in your family. You need to do it. Leadership is not for small boys. Leadership is not in titles. There is no entitlement in titles. Absalom went, with Absalom, went 200 men out of Jerusalem that were called. And they went in their simplicity. There are some people who are so simple, it's unbelievable. And they just follow people willy-nilly. In their simplicity, they followed Absalom. The question I asked was, when Absalom died, what happened to those people who followed him? Because not everybody who follows rebels, who stay with the rebels, they eventually discover the true nature of those rebels. So what happens to their destiny for living with those people in their simplicity? They followed Absalom. So when Absalom got caught up in the tree and Joab thrust him through, was it Joab or Abner? Joab thrust him through. The same Joab who brought Absalom back is the same Joab who eventually thrust him through. You see the thing I'm talking about? What happened to those who followed them in their simplicity thinking that Absalom was the next ruler? What happened? To me, trying to destroy a church, to me, is more, I won't use myself as a, uh, you know, to grade sins. But to me, destroying God's house, to me, is one of the highest uh, acts of uh, treason, anarchy, atrocity. I want more big words. To me, is the highest form of disloyalty 
unfaithfulness. I will never trust somebody who has broken somebody's church. Never. Ever. Never. We will meet in heaven. But whilst we are on earth here, our paths will never cross. If you are not afraid enough to destroy God's house. And the end of all rebellious people is execution. All rebellious people in the Bible, watch their end. Their end, their stages of disloyalty, independence, passivity, offense, political stage, and all those things. Then they end up in execution. They end up, all of them end up executed. Satan's one is the one that's next. Satan's one is the last one that will happen. Look at them, Dathan, Abiram, Korah, Alexander the coppersmith, Absalom. Look at them throughout the Bible. They are listed through. There are examples there. That's why when I was an associate pastor and they told me, take over this church when your pastor is away in Ghana. I said, over my dead body. Because if I do it, that's exactly what I will inherit. Because you see, when you sow a seed, you may not inherit it today. But you will inherit it. As for the inheriting, you will inherit. And you will inherit it on earth. The latter part was nicer. On earth. So if you like, carry on. Get breaking people's church. You are mad. You are deceived. You are the most demented person on the planet. I'm very passionate when it comes to that. I've had my fair share of it. So those things, as soon as I see the next available pen, if I can ex do physical abuse, the next available pen should go through that person's nose and come out through their nose again on the other side. So it twists. You must suffer the worst punishment on the planet. Pen go through one and then tore and come through the other one. So it lines up there. Next time you will learn not to break somebody's church when this thing is figured out right there, inside there. You are demented. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> the question I ask is, you see, me, my heart is more for the flock yes. than the foolish person who did what he did. Yes. Because the question is, what happened to... The, when, rebe, when people follow a rebellious person in their simplicity, what? Let's come down to 21st century. When people follow a, dem, a demented, rebellious person and they go, what happened to Absalom? What happened to the people who followed him in their simplicity? Where are they today? Where are they? Now, all those who follow Osama, all those who follow Osama bin Laden, Al, -Zar, Al Zakiwa or whatever, all I Al Qaeda's people. There was a man called Al Zawi Zawiwa or whatever his name is. Okay, all those who followed Mubarak, they are in the cage with him. All those who follow Saddam Hussein were in the cage with him. So all rebellious people who follow rebellious folk end up in the same Mubarak cage and Saddam Hussein cage. That's the point. You may not have been a ringleader, but because you follow that idiot, so everything that is happening to that idiot is happening to you. So you need to, you need to wise up. You are not destroying a man's church. There is no man that has the capacity to own any church. The church is God's church. So you don't destroy God's church. That is where we are coming from, you idiot. And this time I'm not editing this side. That's where we are coming from. We are not coming from you messing up somebody's here because I'm messing up somebody's here. No, you are, you, are, you are who fights against God and wins. Who fights against an invisible God? You don't lose your mind. You are demented. <laughs> Mubarak is in a cage. Guess who is in a cage too? His sons. Bagbo, Bagbo of Ivory Coast. Look at how they dragged his wife. Gaddafi, they killed some of his children.
So following a rebel is not that simple, you know. Give me one million to break somebody's church. And give me one P to suffer for life. I will choose the one P. Never, I will never attempt to break anybody's ministry. Never. It's not worth it. Joab said to David, bring your son home. The same Joab put a knife through that boy's heart. When the king had said, don't touch the boy. Joab. Rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, stubbornness. Ragusha, Gralabuza, Shogo. 